Hi, good day, guys. My name is Nick, technical analyst with Superforex. Today, we'll be looking at the analysis on uh, pound sterling. We can see that pound sterling is struggling to stay above a key technical level against the euros and uh, risk slipping into a downtrend as a, just a key European central bank interest rate decision comes into a view ahead of Thursday's midday ECB event. The GBP euro exchange rate is seen testing the 100 day moving average in a sign that uh, this peer could be about to witness a turn in trend that brings uh, lower levels. Now, as long as the peer stays above the 100 DMA, we can consider the 2023 uptrend to remain intact and a move below the 100 day moving average could see us call an end of the end uh, trend for the day. Now, we are watching the 100 uh, DMA offers a useful uh, technical gauge of multi week direction and trend that allows us to ignore the background noise of the foreign exchange market, which can often be confusing, quite confusing. As long as the pair remains above the moving average, we would maintain a view that the uptrend can resume at some point uh, in the near future. However, a break below this momentum indicator will signal that momentum has turned in favor of the euro and will advocate for further pound euro uh, weakness. There are three major catalysts on the horizon that could prompt a successful defense of the 100 DMA by pound sterling or see that the euro take the upper hand. Now, the first coming day with the ECB's interest rate decision, uh, the market is split on whether the ECB will raise interest rates, meaning a decision itself could offer some short-term volatility, while a possible rate hike could uh, be seen as even a much move higher in the euro exchange rate complex while a, a hold could uh, prompt some uh, level of weaknesses but the more durable moves would uh, rest with the guidance that the ecb offers regarding future policy as well as the flavor of the inflation and good focus that will be issued now a leak to Reuters on tuesday uh we are seeing the spewed news that the ecb would revise its inflation focus higher prompting a rally uh in the euro correct currency first week uh, looks for the little room for surprises in the forecast this means that of course um, the written guidance and the tone of the ECB president Lagarde, uh, his press conference will uh, most likely influence some direction in the foreign exchange market. Now, this should be that the, the ECB would leave uh, rates unchanged. Of course, they would uh, also signal the dull means wide open to a further rate hike before the end of the year. And this, of course, is going to have uh, some stimulus on uh, all euro currencies. We are, they are taking a look at euro GBP. And uh, gradually approaching, approaching a resistance, a strong resistance point at uh, 0.86273. And a breakthrough from that zone, we are looking out for a new zone at 0 0.8604. At the entrance of this point, you're looking at running up to a uh, 59.60 piece from that entry point, of course, which is good money. And that's our technical analysis on today's uh, currency peer, Euro GBP. Now let's move over to the stock markets. Hello, welcome back, guys. And on today's stock market, we'll be having a dig at um, McDonald's. And headlining, we're hearing that uh, McDonald's dropped plans to sell shares in Japan's unit. Now, um, Tokyo has put on hold plans to sell shares in its Japan unit for McDonald's Corporation, which recently returned to profit for the first time in three years after a series of uh, food scandals, uh, which shook consumer confidence in the chain now. The fast food giant has made the decision to not proceed with a transaction at this time. Chief Finance Officer uh, Kevin M. Ozen told our investors on a conference call on Tuesday that decision followed a review of his stake. And uh, this has been having such good effects on the, sorry, bad effects on the McDonald's commodity. We have been noticing a, a series of uh, bullish intent. But now currently with the release of this news, we are seeing a uh, bearish sentiments. And uh, this uh, could supposedly have a tra retracement down to at least the 279.07 zones, which from that entry point, we are looking at nothing less than uh, 25 to 30 pips from that point. And uh, this could uh, skyrocket if uh, more intent of a uh, bearish market follows through. Because uh, currently we have been having a series of news events about McDonald's, um, the food giants having different uh, Japan September consumer price fall and weakness spending clouds uh, outlook. So um, on a higher time frame, uh, checking the four hours, sorry, the daily time frame, we are looking out for more sale opportunities. And uh, as a quick entry to this, we see a retracement candle for uh, seemingly like looking like a doji, but currently it's uh, looking at having a 
where move from uh, 26 point two seven two fifty one point five to down to uh to 81.5 to down to 274.35 so at this entry point we are expecting 25 to 30 pips and then uh we get out of that trade of course with good profits and that's our technical analysis on today's uh stock market mcdonald's i remain your host nick bye for now